Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video. I'm here at Bottomless Lakes. It is actually one of the first state parks in New Mexico and it is gorgeous. It's a little windy today, so hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm trying my little <laughs> um, thing, but I wanted to show this really fun uh, Oracle deck that I picked up just on a whim. I'd never seen this deck before. It just looks like a lot of fun, and it is. I've been using it. I have not been doing tarot oracle readings since we've moved here. I've just been over it. I'm burnt out, I can't do it. Um, but I've been using this and it's been scary accurate. It's called Cowgirls and Aliens Oracle by Ellie Grant. And I love the artwork. It says, welcome to the glittering alien desert where the moon whiskey is strong, the cowgirl boots sparkle, and the ray guns are smoking. In creator Ellie Grant's magical world, you can be yourself and take control of your destiny. Use these cards for daily inspiration to gain insight into a problem or to inspire your next creative project. So pull on your chaps, saddle up your alien horse, and ride out into the binary star sunset. Um, so it's 36 cards in a guidebook by Rockpool Publishing. It's got a fun cover. So I picked it this up at Electric Treasures in Roswell, and I love that store. So it comes in this green little, I'm keeping that because I like that color. Hopefully it doesn't blow away since it's so um, windy. Here are the backs of the cards, and it's gilded. I'm not sure if it's really picking up that it's gilded in the sunlight but um, okay so these aren't in any particular order since I like I said I've been using this we have the bartender the outlaw the scientist the bounty hunter The Drifter, The Rancher, I love the spaceship in the background, The Mutant, The Android, The Preacher, The Telepath, Now this is where I find it interesting that they call it cowgirls and aliens, yet they use like man. So this is the highway man. I think they should have said the highway woman, but that's just me. The prospector, because here they do it. Here's the mountain woman. The navigator. The Explorer, the Gunsmith, the Hacker, the Shapeshifter. Okay, and they do it here the Horse Woman, the Clones, Alien Queen. The Sheriff, the AI, the Time Traveler, the Undertaker. Okay, this is where they do it. The Henchmen instead of the Henchwomen. The Gunslinger. The blacksmith, the cowgirl, the engineer, the starcraft captain, the cyborg, 
the smuggler, the pilot, the space pirate, and the gang leader. Here's the inside of the deck. And then you can see there's like little decorations all around. Yeah. It's so windy. <laughs> it's very windy in New Mexico. Okay, so with the about the um, artist, it's 116 pages, the little book. And it is in full color. So we have introduction, how to use the cards, single card spreads, three card spreads, and then we have for how it's set up the story and then the message. And then tips. So I will do a quick little reading. Pull a card, see what it has to say today. So if anyone is interested in visiting Roswell, I recommend coming July 5th through the 7th. They do the UFO festival. They have lots of speakers. The town is, like sets up all these cool like kind of art installations and um, they have musicians and uh, I'm just really excited and looking forward to this weekend, this coming up weekend. Um, for the festivities hopefully I'm gonna try to record and maybe do a video but I'm not gonna promise anything I might just want to be in the moment and enjoy the festivities and see the speakers and uh, you know enjoy the music I don't know how crazy it gets I'm you know I know it's a big deal for Roswell but also check out bottomless lakes and bottomless lakes, you'll want to come get here, you know, fairly early before noon. Um, it does get busy and loud, especially on the weekends. In the afternoons, the later you come, the louder it will be. People are barbecuing and smoking weed, even though they're not supposed to. <laughs> it's disgusting. It makes me mad. Anyway, um, that's just me. But it's chill here during the morning in the mornings. Okay, so we have the horsewoman. I will use my patience and compassion to overcome obstacles. So I will read what the horsewoman says. So that is the affirmation. And then story, don't go in there, a voice warns her. That horse is the devil itself. She enters the coral calmly, taking in the horse's wild eyes and foaming mouth. Moving slowly and deliberately, she averts her gaze and waits patiently for him to come. As time passes, she hears his breathing slow. Cautious hooves move towards her. She feels a soft velvety nose gently sniffing her face. Ever so slowly, she raises her hands and strokes his face. Sorry, the flies are <laughs> annoying here. <laughs> All right, message. The horse man is a strong figure, but not in a showy brute force kind of way. She has a quiet resolve, endless patience and compassion. When faced with challenges, she doesn't run in with ray guns blazing, but calmly steps into the situation, composed and resolute. There is more than one way to overcome an obstacle or face a problem. The horseman is here to tell you to look at things a little differently. Not every situation can be solved by our sheer force of will. Instead, it might take some patience and understanding. Sometimes you may want to achieve something so badly you feel desperate and want to rush in blindly. Instead, take a deep breath and use your head, not your heart. You have the inner strength and discipline to get there. Tips. Rather than giving up when things aren't going your way, try shifting gears and taking more a more subtle approach to the problem. Maybe you can catch more horses with sugar cubes. Achieving anything great will take time. There are no overnight successes, so use your grit and perseverance and you will outlast any challenge. 
So let me know in the comments down below if you've seen this deck before, um, if you've played with it. It's so fun. I love the messages. I love the book. I love the artwork. I just think it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to have Nikolai walk to the water and uh, do a little panorama so y'all can see how beautiful the lake is.